So this was my first like snack item and it's pretty good. Um, let me tell you about it. There's something in it. Uh, there's like a crumb of bread or something. All right, this is what it looks like. It is white bean artichoke dip. And it's pretty good. Oh. I feel like I always say it's pretty good. Like I should come up with different things to say. I learned a couple things while making this. So I was limited because I only have a magic bullet and the container didn't fit all of this. So I just added all of the essential ingredients and then added white beans and artichoke hearts as they fit. And when they didn't fit anymore, I started putting them in the pan and then just adding more to the original base and etc. Now, these crackers I'm using are not whole food plant based. I'm cheating a little bit. Sorry. Um, I wasn't really sure what to get. I also have carrots. Those go with it. But um, I know my significant other would rather have something bready. Light but bready. Mm. So, this is the first recipe I've made with something called nutritional yeast. Here, I'm going to get it for you. I'm back. Sorry. That took longer than I expected because I still have a sprained ankle. I mean, I can walk. I just have a limp. Um, nutritional yeast. I had to Google it in the store because I didn't know what it looked like. It was in the spices section. But I know some grocery stores won't have it. I live in LA, which is known for picky eaters and vegans and healthy whatever. So, this is the cheese for vegans. This nutritional yeast has a cheesy taste to it. And I was really curious to try it, so I was excited that this recipe had some in it. And I definitely see what they mean. There's something cheesy about it. Mm hmm. It's really cool. And one thing, though, that's upsetting about this is it was expensive. How much was it? Here, let me look. It was. $6.99. So, this recipe was my most expensive of the week, and this is the snack item rather than any of the meals, which all had a bunch of servings. This is a decent amount, but I'm gonna be honest, me and my boyfriend will probably finish this today. We might have a little left over tomorrow, but I doubt it. We eat hummus like it's going out of style. So, sorry, I'm, it's really good, and I just made this, and I want to keep eating it. Um, so I spent $22.52 on the ingredients for this. I think that might include the crackers. Does it include the crackers? Hold on. Let me see. Sorry. Oh, okay. It didn't include the crackers, but I also had to buy red wine vinegar. And there's one other. I had to buy rosemary and parsley i regret that because the rosemary was expensive it was over a dollar for a bunch of rosemary and i'm gonna be honest at work we have a bunch of rosemary we use it as a garnish and so i feel like they wouldn't be upset if i asked to take one from work because again we use it as a garnish like clearly we get it for super cheap we add it to all the stuff so, I might do that in the future uh, because that would be a lot cheaper. But again, this, I 
barely used any of it. I used about that much of the container. So I will save a bunch of money on future recipes because I'll already have this. And it, it's like the cornmeal I used for black bean burgers, um, as you will see tomorrow. Uh, I still have a huge bag of it. So it's okay that it costs me more now. That's, again, part of the point. I'm trying to stock up my kitchen and figure out how much this stuff really costs. So in this, there was parsley, rosemary, lemon. What else? The artichoke hearts. The white beans. I also, it just said white beans, and I got great northern beans, but then I looked in the recipe and it said either navy or cannellini beans. I don't know the difference between beans, but this is the second recipe this week that I got a different type of bean than the recipe said, and it turned out totally fine. I think it's just, there's subtle differences, I'm sure, but if you switch it out, it doesn't seem like it's a huge deal. And that's good, because then you can just go with whatever's cheapest, really, in the future, once you know the differences. So yeah, 222 52 This is like the first week where I kept spending over $20. But all of my meals this week were under $10. Yeah, under $10. So it balanced out. I think that's okay. And I think in the future I'd be able to make this for cheaper, especially without the nutritional yeast and etc. And I think I, I definitely included the cost of the carrots too. So. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This is good. I think this is what I'm really liking about it. There's something cheesy about it that's really good. And the artichoke. It's very, it's thinner than hummus. It's a little too thin for my taste. I'd like to thicken it up a little. But it's fine if you don't. And this, you didn't have to put it in a pan like this, but it also said it's good if it's warmed up in the oven. So I decided to do it that way, and I think that brings out the cheesiness. Okay, okay, let's stop eating. It's so good. Okay, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> it's really good. I've been looking forward to this one. Okay, this is supposed to make four servings. So, divide this by four. Yeah, that's, that's what a serving of this should be. Again, I'm probably gonna eat half of it today. I can't stop eating. Okay, 134 calories per serving, 0% fat, 46% sodium. You can influence that in all of these recipes, really. They'll usually include a teaspoon of salt, so sodium automatically goes up. 8% carbs, 15% potassium, 46% fiber, 2 grams of sugar, no vitamin A, 18% vitamin C, 8% calcium, 12% iron, and 22% of your daily value of protein. I love this nutrient-dense food. It's really cool to actually look at the numbers and see how much protein I'm getting, how much, every, all the good stuff I'm getting. It's really exciting. I'm really enjoying the food so far. This is, what is it, the fifth recipe I've shown you guys? I really love the Black Moon Burgers um, that are tomorrow, so be sure to check those out. Those and this are my two favorite recipes so far, I think. Oh, and the brownies. That's the amazing thing. I found another YouTuber, and that's how I sort of learned about the whole food plant-based diet. She, I don't remember her channel name off the top of my head, I'll put a link below. She just did plan with me's and talked about the food she was making in a week and she kept talking about how good all the food is and it always sounded really good. And that's the thing that's crazy. I don't normally put in the time for this, for cooking. And when I do, it's, it's hit or miss because I don't really like cooking meat. I don't like buying the meat. I don't like handling it. And these, it's always just nice, clean stuff. You don't have to worry about it. It's not gross to cook and that's great. But, I mean, I like the taste of meat, obviously. But, yeah. Whole food plant-based has really good recipes. And even if you're not going to convert completely, but you just want some cheaper, healthier options that are really good, you should Google that key phrase and you will find some great stuff. So good. Okay. 
I will leave you guys with that. I am really loving this challenge. I'm so glad you guys are along with me on the ride. I keep feeling like I'm not doing enough in these videos for you guys, but I just can tell you what it tastes like and give you the facts of the matter. And this, hmm, the artichokes were about $4. The beans, 79 cents. This one's not as easily recreatable with stuff I already have. The beans, maybe. I'm not gonna have just a bag of artichoke hearts at any point unless I'm making a recipe, you know? And the rosemary and parsley are supposed to be fresh. So this one's not as good for that, like other recipes have been so far for me. But that's okay. This is something that would be a really nice treat and I don't think it will always cost that much money. Again, the nutritional yeast was $7 of that. So this is really more like a $13 thing if you already have this in your cupboard. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow.